swallowed up forever by the fury of your love. You stepped into my Egypt, took me by the hand. You marched me out in freedom into the promised land. Now I will not forget you. I sing of all you. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mark, and that was Andrew Greer singing Egypt. This morning, I want to focus on a name for God that's used in that song that we don't use very often, the name Yahweh, or maybe you've heard it, Jehovah. One of the very first times this name is used for God in the Bible is found in in Exodus chapter 3. In fact, it's right before Moses leads the people out of Egypt. It's in the context of the burning bush where God gives Moses this impossible assignment to go to Pharaoh, to lead the people out of captivity in Egypt. And this is how it's recorded in Exodus chapter 3. But Moses protested to God, who am I to appear before Pharaoh? Who am I to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt? Basically saying, God, I am not equipped for this task. These are circumstances that are beyond me. I don't have what it takes. I haven't faced anything like this before. I I can't do it. And God answered Moses this way. He said in verse 12, I will be with you. And Moses protests again. Okay, God, you're with me. But um, if I go to the people of Israel and tell them the God of your ancestors has sent me to you, they will ask me, what is his name? Then what will I tell them? God replies to Moses, I am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say this to the people of Israel, Yahweh, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my eternal name, my name to remember for all generations. This morning, I don't know what you're facing. It might seem impossible, um, but I want to remind you that, man, God, Yahweh, the God of every generation, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Moses, the God of your grandparents, your God. He will be faithful to us. What he leads us to, he will lead us through. And so, man, even though we don't have what it takes, he does, and he's going to see us through it. So let's look to Yahweh this morning. God, we look to you. Thank you that you fight for us. Thank you that even though circumstances might be beyond our ability, they're not beyond your ability. And what you lead us to, you will lead us through. And so, God, we put our trust in you this morning and look forward to seeing how you're going to deliver us. We pray this in your name. Amen.